Things are out of control nowadays. There must have been some previous era when everything was perfect. The good old days. Bah, that's dead wrong. If you believe in the good old days, where do you place it? Jason Pfeiffer decided to find out, so he asked Donald Trump supporters, and they were all longing for the 1950s. But then Jason Pfeiffer looked into the 1950s, realizing that people back then did not think they lived in the good old days. They were thinking more about political and racial tensions, the threat of immediate nuclear war, and mindless consumer-driven students. They were longing for the 1920s. But in the 1920s, people worried that the radio, recorded music, and the automobile, they were destroying the traditional way of life. They were longing for the late 19th century. But back then, people worried that a faster pace of life resulted in chronic anxiety. They thought the good old days were before the Civil War. But back then, they thought the good old days were in the Revolutionary Era. But in that era, people made the Revolution because they thought they lived in a horrible era. So Jason Pfeiffer continued to trace the idea of the good old days back in history like this, all the way back to Mesopotamia, 5,000 years ago. Pretty soon after mankind invented the written language, they wrote that now things are horrible. There must have been some previous era when everything was perfect.